Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel uh, where we're trying to solve the crystal structures um, and in my YouTube channel what I'm trying to do it's trying to show you whole process of structure solution from the uh, reaction or what the uh, chemist bring you and tell you what he've done and what the crystals he got until the end until the C file whenever you got C file you're ready to publish it so um, of course um, it's obvious by the name of the channel it's we will focus on structure solution a structure refinement of MOFs and MOPs uh, so metal organic frameworks and metal organic polyhedrox because they are very hard structures to uh, to do so they are very hard to solve and they even harder to refine but in the beginning first assignments I just wanna give you simple organic and simple metal organic structure because it will give you opportunity to work with them uh, and work with command line because I think when you will use the command line uh, you'll see that is the most convenient way to solve and refine hard structures which is will be MOVs and MOPs but in the beginning we'll start with simple organic structure well um, this uh, this is a uh, reaction what chemist done and chemist of course it was was I yes um, uh, I did this reaction in 2005 I think yeah 2005 and so you can see it's simple reaction between uh, benzoquinone and uh, uh, pentadiene and reaction in TCF it's simple dual salt reaction you get this product hopefully yes and it's it have been crystallized um, from uh, um, I think it's again from THF or maybe CH2Cl2 but no I think it's from THF yeah and it was really nice clear uh, colorless crystals which I just took on diffractometer and I think uh, the structure the data have been collected on smart thousand by Brooker uh, diffractometer and I solved the structure and later on I have been published so we will go through whole process except we will not of course we will not we will skip the step when we collect the data and we will skip the step um, when we integrate the data maybe later on we will do that but those two steps are pretty standard um, what you would need uh, to solve the structure it's of course um, you'll need P4P and HKL files it's your files after integration or after absorption correction you need to have installed shellac software and which is pretty standard for any crystallography and you need some kind of a file manager um, with command line opportunity so in my case I will use file manager and I'll show you why well but for now let's start go into this farm manager and see what it is I minimize my PowerPoint and here's the farm manager icon so if you open it so you can clearly see it's very similar to Norton Commander so uh, the people who work with DOS can work um, in farm manager without any problem uh, why why I like it well because first of all you have here on the bottom you have normal DOS command line so you can start any of your shellx program down there but at the same time uh, you it's a file manager so you can copy read uh, change uh, delete the files uh, very easily um, with a press of a button yes uh, also what is nice about it you can work in it pretty much without using a mouse uh, why it's important well I, I don't like using a mouse when I solve in my structure I think it's not so convenient it's really nice when you do pretty can do everything pretty much with a keyboard and that's why it's uh, that's why I really like the uh, farm manager uh, if you want to use just simple uh, commander or uh, simple uh, command line in Windows you can do it 
it's but I think it's little bit harder they, than by using farm manager. If you wanna do Norton Commander, you are welcome to do it too. If you wanna use the Windows Commander, you can do it too. But I prefer to use Farm Manager and it's free software. You can download it easily uh, for free. But let's go ahead and start solving the structure. Well, first what I wanna do um, in Farm Manager, yeah, in Farm Manager you have a lot of uh, button combinations uh, which you can apply um, and I will try to sound it for you so you can repeat those combinations and always be on the track with me. So what I want to press first it's Alt F9 it uh, allows you to go to the full screen regime and I really like to have it full screen so you can see uh, what happens during structure solution structure refinement process but okay here's you have two windows left and right so you can copy uh, files between those two windows uh, if you want to change between those two windows uh, what you would need to do is uh, press tabulation or tab so if I press tab I'm automatically moving to another window press tab again in another window press tab again another window okay uh, if you press enter uh, obviously you will open the folder folders are white uh, files are green red uh, brown and uh, light uh, blue so uh, white is a folder and also you have this double dot it means you go up so if you press enter you go up on the folder Again, going up now we in root and let's go to my folder which is called Andre and uh, here it's a folder with the structure files deals alder so it deals alder reaction and you now I decided to call it like that well in this uh, folder uh, so what you would like to do all the time is to put your structure in separate folder all the time no matter what because uh, when you solve and refine your structure, you will have tons of files, and therefore you would prefer to have all the files correspond to the same structure in one folder. Therefore, you can see each structure what I have in my folder it's separated, so each folder corresponds to one structure. So, well, right now let's open this folder and see what we got. And here, how I told you, we have HKL and P4P file, and those files you usually get after integration of uh, structural data and um, of diffraction data. Sorry, and uh, when you finish merging and absorption correction. So those two files are important to have for any structure solution. Well, let's look on P4P file. Well, P4P file, how you can see. Uh, pretty much it's text file. To view it, by the way, you need to press F3 and you can see those buttons uh, buttons on the bottom on numbers uh, which correspond uh, each number on it correspond to the F button. So for example if I want to view the file uh, I need to press F3. Yes, if I want to edit file I need to press F4. If I want to uh, delete file I need to press F8. And and so on. So if I want to use a file, I'm pressing F3. Yes. So um, you can see here uh, what the main thing about P4P it's contain unit cell parameters. They're located right here, and here's the unit cell volume and this unit cell parameters. It also contain unit cell errors, some information how it was integrated. It was integrated as triclinic P where it was performed, on which diffractometer it was performed, when it was performed this experiment or at least integration performed and which source did we use uh, of X-ray uh, beam so in this case it's standard MOLLE source right here you can see MOLLE and the wavelengths okay let's go out so you're pressing escape you're going out and HKL file it's also text file I press in a free and uh, in HKL it contains information about the reflections and it contains H, K and L for, the, uh, for each reflection uh, then it has the intensity and um, it has also the sigma 
for each reflection. So pretty much this is it. That's two files what you need uh, to solve your structure.